Welcome to the Sun and Power Night Sessions, Saturday Night Sessions, lucky Saturday night because it was full of clouds, but now I saw this, incredible, lucky guy, this will last, it will not last long for sure, this is why it's important, you see rain, rain, clouds for tonight, it's been awful. This is very important. This is with the delay of um, half an hour. And you see the movement of the clouds. And I saw, well, I will have here an aperture, a window of opportunity be before these huge rainy clouds come. That's why it's important. And I changed the ship. I was with a ship of, okay, tonight we will do nothing, but the sky opened, and what does a guy with a telescope do when the sky opened? We place the telescopes outside, you see, half an hour, so we should be in this aperture here. I still have clouds out, uh, outside, but... But I have some clear skies, so we will be using tonight the same telescope because I didn't change anything to be faster. The 8 inch top sun and telescope over this equatorial platform with the ZWO camera, it's still there. I hope it's it's okay. I just just added tonight the Arizona Nexus. This wonderful tool because I was not using while we were we were watching the conjunction. It was without the series on the Nexus. But I didn't check collimation anything. I don't need. We are streaming from here. Planet Earth. Continent Europe. Country Portugal. Region Algarve. 37 latitude Bortol 5. So we will be watching the sky with the 8 inch of sun and outside, real life views, live stacking, doing EAA, electronically assisted astronomy, or live stacking, whatever you want to call it. It's images from the sky in real time. I saw, I saw the Ursa Major opening and uh, around the moon. We have the moon getting brighter, but anyway, we can watch something. Now I have here on my side a tablet to watch the chat on YouTube. So, I will not miss anything that you send. By the way, thank you Quasar for offering those, I don't remember if it were 5 or 10 members, membership to the others in the, in the last live stream. I didn't see it, but now I will control everything. It's a bit to the left, but I would prefer to have it at, a, at in front of me. Hi team! Hi Pedro! Marcin, Polonia, <laughs> greetings, Bartek, Dan Daniel, Dumbguy, Tim, Mazif. <laughs> okay, let's start this because I don't trust the weather. Open Sharp Cap, it will be the software that we will be going to, to use as usual to live stack and watch real-time objects in the sky, deep sky objects. Let's open the camera. I will have to refocus, of course. Hello, Antonio Cortez. Mikal. Welcome. Ooh, donuts. Donuts means out of focus. It was expected. So, now I will do the star hopping. Star hopping, hoping. What's up, you? 
because of the cloud. Fair enough, I will not waste time and I will open Stellarium because I see huge clouds and I want to take the chance. Okay, I have a good, a very good galaxy, it's not the best night for it, but I want you, the ones that like astrophotography and stuff, I want you to try it. I will show you. I almost forgot this galaxy this year, but it's still on site and it's on Ursa Major. Uh, north, 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 Ursa Major. It's uh, Negnigis, I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh, no, this one. NGC th uh, th uh, 37, 18. It's below the old nebula. <coughs> Let me see. Mm, Telrad. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, tell Rad. One. Okay. I think I get it. To stretch this. Focus. Yeah, it's fair enough.
She'll be Neo. Hold on. She'll be Neo. Control one. Yeah, it should be near. Let's wait solve and see. Let's solve. I want you guys that uh, enjoy to take uh, to do astrophotography to try this galaxy if if you didn't already. Because it's beautiful. Tuloko. Damkai. Samir. Okay. Yeah, we are very close to the galaxy. Look. Actually. CWO. With the next. Actually, it should be a bit down here. Yeah, it's almost there. Almost there. It's here at the bottom. Hold on. Yes, I think it's there. I think it's there. It's there. Okay. Let's do this right away. You, sh you probably don't see it, but uh, I see some faint stuff. not windy it's due so it will not last long the session yeah it's there now let's see if I can this is better without the moon the moon wash uh, a bit of this Yeah, we have uh, moderators. Welcome. Pedro, Tiago, which time you go outside for focusing, grab your mobile phone, tune in your YouTube channel and watch what you are doing. <coughs> you know why I can't do that at all? You don't know. I don't have a camera. I use my, my smartphone. I don't have a camera. All that you see in my channel is made with a smartphone. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a priority. 
I have other things to... Well, this, this tablet here, but I had already the tablet. Here at, at my left, it's a tablet with uh, the chat in YouTube. That's my priority, to control if you give uh, members or uh, any new member, it, uh, it appears on YouTube, but not in my, my live stream. So now let's clean this mess a bit. To see what we can... This is a galaxy, it's a faint galaxy, it's hard. But it's so beautiful. If it was not for the moon, the moon it was not here. Look how well centered it is. This is, well, I, I didn't check, with a bit of tilt. You see the vignetting? You see this space in the vignetting? There's a less space here, at the left and a bit more at the right, you see this? This was because when I was outside, as I didn't have uh, the, the Nexus there because of the last live stream, and I remembered, oh yes, the Nexus. And I had in the dark to take it off the camera and then attach the, the stairs on the Nexus, the focal reducer with comma corrector, and then bumped into the focuser and I'm not sure if I did it very precisely because it was dark and so on. That may be the cause of a, a bit of tilt. It's just a bit of tilt. It's not uh, a huge problem for us. But doing astrophotography, for instance, uh, with longer exposures and all the night capturing frames, it's better to have this all well centered. Besides not being centered, this means that the collimation will be a bit, just a bit off, and it's not uh, important. It's not important because I, I know we will get a, a good image anyways. We have the moon also. So the moon always give us trouble. Let's wait a bit. Let's see Nance here. With the galaxies, we, you, we want to use the Unsharp mask here also. With these galaxies, not with the ones that have um, a strong core, a bright core. Actually, these are two galaxies. These are two galaxies. Yeah, but I only have one phone. <laughs> I used um, I used to use the All Sky camera, but it's it's a cumbersome. It's one more thing to to place outside. So if we are not going to to see the sky in All Sky mode, I prefer not to use it, and it's less hardware to connect it to the laptop but thank you for the suggestion so let's check this ngc that let's remember the, the the number wait for a while and you will see how beautiful it is even with the moon you see the moon is super bright the moon, it's almost full moon. Anyway, let's see the NDC. It's at north. We are watching this galaxy. I will check the name because it has a, a human name also. <laughs> Not only a, a number. It's this one. Let's check. Bookmarks. Yeah. Two galaxies. NGC 3718. Let's check it.
but this has a, a, a name. Let's see. Also called ARP 214. 52, 52 million light years away in Ursa Major. It is either a lenticular or spiral galaxy. Has a warped S shape. This may be due to the gravitational interaction between it and the other NGC, another spiral galaxy located 150,000 light years away. This galaxy is a member of the Ursa Major Cluster. Galaxy Cluster. No, but it doesn't have the name. Let me see. Because I like to give them... Because I forget. NGC 3718, I will forget. Anybody here knows the, the name of the galaxy? Oh, we're having fireworks. But I think it's at west. It's not in the direction of the galaxy. Oh, God. <laughs> fireworks now. No, no name. No. Okay, it has no name. No different name. Let's see how it is now. Let's check one thing. Oh, I forgot to adjust the color. Okay, that's fine. No problem. No problem. Let's post this now. To watch it better. And do like this. Noisy. It needs to clean the noise. So. You see? This is like... This is part of the galaxy. Let me see if they, s they say... On Google. So, NGC... NASA. Let me see what NASA says. Twisted spiral. Okay. Because this is a, an interesting object. Come on. A very interesting object. You see how beautiful from Hubble? Let me see if you can see like this. You see how beautiful it is? It looks like a, a jewel or a candy with the uh, look at the middle those candies from Christmas <laughs> and the other one it's smaller now let's see what they say about those they don't say nothing only the picture ah, here you see Highly disturbed spiral galaxy, highly disturbed, with an unusual warped shape that looks a bit like a plump letter S from Earth. It's true, it's like an S. Dark dust snaking through it. Dust lane in details as it sweeps by the core of the galaxy and curves into the surrounding gas. It's the gas that it's surrounding. Both the galaxies, gla gas and dust lane, are similarly distorted into this unique configuration. It's unique. That's why I love this galaxy. 
The nucleus is extremely hard to detect. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's... It's thought to get its unusual shape from gravitational interaction with nearby galaxy. Yes, we, we saw already that. It's the interaction with the, the other, it's interacting with the other galaxy. Among the features likely caused by this interaction are the line of reddish star formation that extends towards the 9 o'clock position and the dark tendril of dust. Okay. Okay, okay, good information. They had a, they did a study, a special study, to clarify, to help to clarify the relationship between the mass of supermassive black holes and the properties of galactic galactic bulges, and to investigate star formation on a galactic scale. Impressive. from the region around the nucleus. Impressive, impressive. So this is the beauty that we are watching tonight. Unique. I think we will come back to this galaxy in, in a better night. Without moon and that stuff. Let me see if I can improve something here. Because of the noise. Let me see if I can do some magic. The last picture I took, it, it does, it captured the, the S here, but tonight we almost can't see the, the, the S because of the moon. Hello Anthony, greetings to Portchester, New York. Cloudy. Uh -huh. It's cloudy everywhere. And I don't know if any cloud, meanwhile, passed through the... Um, in front of the galaxy. Yes, it, there's al always a, a delay. <laughs> don't worry, Pedro. Everything has a, a reason to happen. But especially, Pedro, uh, if I connect... The more se uh, hardware I connect to my computer, the heavier gets the live stream flow. And my main purpose is to have a clean live stream with good sound and, go and the good image for you. So I prefer to sacrifice a second camera. Star guy. Greetings, Star guy, to you and to your wife from Gulf of Me Mexico. It's great to sit back and broadcast his 18-inch and 12-inch dubs on our big screen 4K TV. Absolutely, it's how I I like to watch also. Now here I'm watching with a, a old television, but uh, if I was not streaming, I was watching for sure in my 4K. No, no, not the bolts. The bolts, it's different. It doesn't have a common name. Common name was the, the word that I was trying to, to reach. Common name, yes. No, it seems it no, it does not have. I will not uh, remember the the NGC. Those catalog numbers are, are 
Bartek re-illuminized re the secondary mirror. Okay, in the old classic castle grain. Six inch. Much better images, of course. Not expensive, but good mirror shape. I'm very happy. Fortunately, now nowadays, but recently here in my country, we have already the, the we already can do uh, or can access to those services. But usually we we didn't have those kind of services like you have in USA, for instance. But now we already have. Thank you, thank you. Fear. <laughs> Can I pronounce your, your nickname here? Or YouTube will... Will hit me. <laughs> Candy Crush. Super Mazif. Don't be egocentric. <laughs> yeah, we can make a poll for the name and then we come back to this galaxy other day. Other night. Yeah, this galaxy is unique. Let me see if I can adjust a bit more. Let's zoom here on the histogram. You know that you can zoom. You click here on zoom and you can zoom the, the histogram. I'm playing with the color to see if I can Oh, but it's hard. Maybe later uh, when I use the topaz denoise, maybe cleaning this noise around. But the image... It's very hard tonight. Look at the histogram like, do that like this. It's zoomed. We're starting to see those... What do they call on NASA? This looks like gravitational lens here, you see? Like this. And here, I'm not sure if it's another galaxy or if it's belong, it belongs to the, the same galaxy. How did they call on NASA? Let me check. Warp its shape. What did they call it? Yeah, it seems like a, a small galaxy at the right. Not this. This is from this galaxy, I think. But this one here. In horizontal almost. Bulgis. They called. I I was reading NASA. Hmm? Ah no 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 bulgis of stars, not that. I don't know the name. These bursts or something. These arms. There are gal galaxy arms. It's the 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 way to to call it. The arms. 
I can't improve with a collar. Every time I touch the collar, but it's getting a bit more of detail. And this, I love this central. Oof. Looks like those candies with um, golden. Drows or it's very noisy tonight. How do you set the pictures in? What do you mean by that? Okay, okay. Sugar Candy Galaxy. But it, that's uh, the name, the common name? Sugar Candy... No. That's the name you... No, 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 no. <laughs> and I, I felt in the trap. Thank you, Bartek. Don't forget to join us on Discord. I will play here, as usual. Join us on Discord. Because on Discord, within live streams, we communicate. And it's free. You go there, you have, uh, you will see in a moment, I will show you. Because I want to show you more, more things. Well, I can show you it right now. This card. You join with a link and then you have the general forum this was a crazy guy that is here in the chat doing stuff in the snow you see this is the general one new people etc and then we have the community pictures that we watch and maybe we will watch tonight the community pictures of course it's saturday it's a good night and if the clouds arrive we have the community pictures your telescopes, different telescopes. The crazy guy when it's doing stuff outside. <laughs> Astro, Art, Astro Art offers our accessional sponsor, Astro Art Finland. For the ones that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Astro Gear, it's a link. My Astro Gear... <clears throat> oh, sorry. It's a link to my to my website, opsonandpower.com. Oh, it's empty. I have another one. You see where you have links to all my gear? Almost all. With videos to assist you. Dwarf, video of Dwarf. Virtuoso, video of the Virtuoso. For the people that don't know the channel, <coughs> can come here. And then we have the moderators, YouTube members. YouTube members from our channel have... Have... Um, Benefits like play, they are the ones that the only ones that can place links here. You see, lots of stuff. So join us on Discord so you can keep in touch with us. Let's see the galaxy. Everything is green. The 8-inch that I, I'm using, the 8-inch Dobsonian, 
is very stable. The Instagram moved. Yeah, it's very weird this the Instagram tonight. Yeah, but we can see like this one like this and another one like this down the S does like this thank you Quasar for being a member for 13 months you see the tablet here I can control those those things Hello Sweden! Boa noite David! Welcome! Now I have a, a channel in Portuguese. I'm translating, it will take time. I'm translating, slowly translating, dubbing all my, all my videos to Portuguese and another one in Espanol, in Spanish. It will take time to to get traction, but I I have no rush. I have no rush. See? In Portuguese? And we have another one in Espanol. Only three videos yet, but we will have more. So the people that doesn't speak English can, can go there. There's this cool thing I did where I projected the moon onto a piece of paper through the eyepiece and it looked better than I thought because it filtered the, the brightness. But by the way, you know that using um, a piece of paper, I usually use, use this. Hold on. If you want to know in a focuser, imagine that you don't know if it will get focused with or without uh, an extension, for instance. Or you want to know the focal plane, the focal point of your telescope. If you get only this in the focuser, if you have this, these caps, two inch caps, or even one inch, they are transparent. And you point to the moon, the same as he did. And uh, you focus, you can see the moon, sharp moon in that, um, in that surface, it's very interesting and you know there it is the focal plane of your telescope. Then it will move if you add the barlow, it will move up. If you add a, a focal reducer, it will move down. That's why with a focal reducer, I don't have focus, I can't go further in. Well, with this or with a paper, but with this you don't need a, a paper. And everybody has these caps. Hey Linux. What's up? Yes, light pollution is a problem. I'm 
I can't complain. In the Bortal 5, I think nowadays we can't complain with Bortal 5. Yeah, the moon <laughs> is like me. <laughs> we are dealing here with the moon. But even with the moon, we can watch this galaxy. Let me just do something. I will save. I don't know if I still have equatorial platform, but I think I have. I will do something. I will reset. Clear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the noise. Only by clearing, I think there are clouds there. Let me check outside. This should be clouds. No, it's the moon, it's the moon, it's close to the moon where we are pointing to. Hold on, let me try something here. Because I changed this inadvertently and I think could mess with the darks. Let me reset. So it was 8 seconds. Basically what I did now was to change, because I don't know, ah yes I know, it was because of Jupiter and so on. To change the white balance, the red and the blue, to 50-50, which is the one that I always use. It gets a greenish tint, especially with the moon, but it allows the camera, the ZW294 that we are using, to, I have to readjust this, this moved and uh, lower the speed. It allows the, the camera to work uh, better. Yes, I have to readjust this. Then we control the camera. Yes, it works better. I have to readjust it and it's moving down. So this is at north. This is the telescope moving too fast. Okay, get it. Hold on. So with 50-50, this camera is the best choice for this cam. Because now, when I live stack, 8 seconds. Yes, it was uh, because of the last live stream with the planets. I had uh, a different speed. Yeah, now it's, it's more stable. Now the color. We just do the auto color and it uh, goes to where it should. Okay. Let's see now. This is the moon, of course. We deal with it. We deal with it. I have to wait a bit. Yeah, Bortal 9, the guy, it's horrible. It's horrible. Well, well said, Madziv. 
eat that thumbs up. <laughs> Now let's zoom to to cut the vignette. You see that the vignetting is a problem to astrophotography. To me, is not look zoom. It's cut it. No vignetting. No vignetting. Well, we still have here, but just for a while because I will and I want to capture both galaxies at once. You see, I will make a video how to get rid of vignetting. Do this. Your guys of astrophotography complicate a lot. Not official, twisted galaxy. Probably. The Frank and Newton. <laughs> Olá Brasil, não esquece que tenho canal em português. I have a channel in Portuguese. The name is Dobsonian Power in Portuguese. You're right. Dobsonian Power in Portuguese. Yeah, give a like. Let me see how many likes. Thirty-four, and we are how many? Fifty guys here. Come on, guys. You don't have to pay to, to give a like. It's free, it's just a click. Click, click, click. <laughs> Hi Tiago, question. Why not to use the 12 inch for this galaxy? Larger magnification and more like Gaither ray. For a very, very simple reason. Because about 20 minutes before. Well, before the stream, no. Maybe. Yes, 20 minutes before the live stream. When I announced the live stream. I didn't know that I was going to live stream because of the clouds and the 8 inch was already set, set it up. Well, I thought it, has al it had already the camera, the equatorial platform had the, the wood, I have some wood to fit the, that I made with holes to fit the, the 8 inch better, it's much more stable and it was the simpler way to do and you know that I keep it simple. every. Uh, every day of my life i don't like to complicate stuff and if i'm still alive don't worry but because next week well next week the last time the the next time we will use for sure the 12 inch but next week it's a bit awful raining tomorrow raining well clouds clouds cloud maybe next weekend Probably. If I have an opportunity during the week, I'll do it. But I can forecast, I can foresee, look, Friday, look at the temperature, 20 degrees centi uh, Celsius. It will be probably on Friday. Changing the wind. Yes, probably next weekend will be, if not before. And then the, the, the 12 inch will be outside, the king, the 12 inch it's our king. The king. The king. <laughs> That's the only reason. Well, sometimes I like to... to 
change a bit to not be always a 12 inch because I know people here has also the, um, the 8 inch and they like to and not only from here people that come to the stream that doesn't that don't know us and suddenly they see this for instance what we are watching now look at this the tiny galaxy now much much interesting you see the 50 50 color helps with the moon and they can see well if he can do it i can do it and uh, that's the way to go let's adjust this a bit and that's the way to go if i can do it anybody can do it i'm here the goal here and you know the ones that are on the channel know very well the goal my goal is not to take nice pictures to show everywhere my goal is to connect you with the sky a good mood positive and inspire you to do the same and then you follow different paths others follow my path you can go through astrophotography you can do other stuff besides live stacking but at least you have this you always have me and the live stacking the simplicity of connecting fast connection to the sky and we share that passion we all share that passion so I'm here to inspire you to good and you do good stuff you will see in a moment the the community pictures if you want to participate the new ones here it's very easy you join the discord you post your picture in the community pictures it's not a contest it's only to show here and help other people to understand what they can do with their telescopes let's fit both galaxies they are beautiful the, this one is beautiful now it's better than than the other one the first life stacking let's see if we can eight minutes let's see if we can make it pop the the arms here of the galaxy now while the the platform it's not over Yeah, it's better now. Dobsonian power, almost forgot. This is, this is the Dobsonian power, of course. Dobsonian power. power. <laughs> oh, my chip was completely different tonight it was like a click thing when i i went outside i'm always watching i was with um, with a tablet and i i checked the clouds getting an aperture in the sky and it was like a click i said to my wife i'm going to do the the live stream don't make noise <laughs> Of course, many likes to, to, to give. Let me check. Forty six, so oh, it's better now. There's still some people here that come and don't want. Why? Hello Rita. Ah, okay, Junior. Obrigado. I will speak just for a moment in, in Portuguese for Junior. Junior, eu vou continuar uh, traduzindo os vídeos, dublando, para vocês no Brasil e para aqui para Portugal, claro. Para todo o mundo que fala português, para poder entender melhor os que não falam inglês. Por isso, se você conhece alguém que não fala inglês e se interessa por astronomia, partilha com ele. Subscribe the channel. Muito obrigado. Thank you. I was promoting my in, uh, Portuguese channel. 
Junior is subscribed already. Thank you, Junior. Yes, binoculars, the only thing carry, carry fry. I love binoculars for many circumstances. What I don't like is because I don't have the, um, the support, the holder of the, or the tripod. It's not a tripod. I want it to have, uh, but it's expensive. Those arms that they use with the binoculars, that you sit like this and you take the ends. Because with the ends, I can't stand long with, uh, with binoculars. It's, it's a cumbersome. Somet and it's horrible because sometimes we are enjoying a lot the, the sky with the binoculars and the arms starting to hurt and uh, it's a frustration because we want to keep watching but the arms ah <laughs> the 12 inch Tiago I'm still on the fence about this 12 inch push me over would you but if if your if your mount, the equatorial mount, can handle it, remember that you will we you will have more trouble with balance and that stuff. You are used to to your telescope; it's easier to balance. It's the the thing that I always listen from 12-inch Newtonians. It's a beast. But uh, I think if there's a, a right kind of person, if there's a right kind of person to handle well and uh, surpass all those small issues with a 12 inch over an equatorial mount, it's you. Well, I could fit that also. If I had uh, the mount and the place, um, but to pr preferably to, to have it always mounted and uh, I think you will not do that because it's it's heavy well you can handle it but thinking that you can handle it now well later you you will be probably with it permanent it's only that uh, that caveat but apart from that the views and the quality of the images that you will have will be wonderful and you have already the series on the next which is important because you are uh, you are used to a larger field of view also remember that the 12 inch will get you uh, i don't remember the focal length of yours but i think it will narrow a bit just a bit and but to the stars on the next solve that oh it, it will be amazing okay it will be amazing i can imagine if I can do all this stuff with a 12-inch Dobsonian, I can imagine what uh, what you can do. Ah, the moderators are are training already. <laughs> good, good. It's a nice thing to have the tablet here at my left. I'm always improving, always. Ah, oh, hold on. Series. I don't know. A time lapse. I'll think. I I will think about it. I don't know. With the moon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Series is, and it's like a star. It's so small. Yeah. <laughs> if we were with a telescope in the moon, the dark side. Did you ever thought if we one day do uh, one day it's a, a matter of time when one day we start col colonizing or going to other planets 
to have a telescope there. Did you, didn't you think about that? If I had a telescope on, let's say, Mars or whatever planet, without light pollution, the first ones that will have uh, no light pollution and will have... Um, I don't know how will they do that, but they will figure a way because humanity, we can't go physically to places far away from here, but we can watch. That's our power. Hi, Curtis. Yes, yeah, sometimes I I ask you what do you want to to watch. Not to, tonight. Uh, I didn't do that because of the weather. Look, uh, I don't have the all sky. The, the all sky camera is good for these moments to control the. I have just right here. The, the clouds are doing like this to the telescope. Just right here, we have uh, uh, clouds from here uh, to west. I, w I have only clouds, they will come and they will bring rain and everything. But I knew that for, for the, by the wind that I saw and the satellite, I knew that we had a, an open window of opportunity to, to watch this stream, but in a while. Actually below these galaxies, below the galaxies that we are watching, it's full of clouds also, but it's below, not in the galaxies. But yeah, sometimes, and if you ask me, even that, uh, you can ask, you can ask any time, because imagine, if you don't ask now, I don't know, I, I, I can't know. But if you ask something to watch, even that week, we don't watch tonight. Sometimes I remember, uh, we can watch that uh, object. <laughs> oh Marco, I'm so crazy about this. Dobsonian power, thank you. Applause. Dobsonian power. power. I'm like a kid. <laughs> A 52, a 51 years, I don't know why I, I always say 52, a 51 year old guy. Why I always say 52, if I have 51. Yeah, there's a new thing that YouTube has, that if you click the like during these live streams, the clouds go faster, uh, disappear faster. That's a good thing, a good way to ask for likes. Mm, I have to think about that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Linux. The only thing that the likes give here is the um, is a hint to the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, to spread to more people, and that's good to have more people here. It's more entertainment. For you also. This is uh, about you. <laughs> you see, I hit the like and it starts raining here. It's like buying a telescope. Yeah, there are plans online. I saw them, but I'm not very good on that. I'm good doing stuff with without needing too many tools. That's why I don't make an equatorial platform, for instance. Small things that I can handle with things that I have at home, good. With uh, regular tools. When it starts to complicate, I prefer to buy. I will have th that one day. Those binoculars, those parallelogram, I will show you what he's talking about for the people that don't know. Binoculars. I 
will show you. You see? I want to be... I will show you. I want to be this guy. You see? Hold on. Not this one. Where is it? The, the image. You see, I want to... You see, I have uh, loads of stuff like this. These kind of shares. You see this? With the binoculars here. You see? Look. The beach share. The binoculars here. And you don't have to... To handle the... To deal with the weight. This is a simple one. And there's others. You see? Look how, how nice the guy is here. Look, look at this one. Look at this one. No, no, no. No, that I don't... I, I want this. You see? Like this, for instance. I want this. I want to be outside like this guy is. Comfortably seated with the... Uh, with uh, the legs up here. With a nice chair and comfortable. And watching the sky. Listen to some music. Have a drink here. And something... No, to eat, I don't like to eat while I'm with a telescope. Because the, it's all a mess. With a... Yeah, we, it's a mess. But drinking something, you see, here. And watching the sky. Especially events like uh, conjunctions and comets and stuff like that will be great. That is something that uh, I have in my list of uh, dreams. Let's call it like that. But not like this. Look, not like this, you see. This is super heavy, they are old binoculars. But even with the, the lighter ones, to be like this, After some minutes, I start getting uncomfortable. They're still good. They, they still are good to, to watch for a while, something. But that's it. What I do sometimes is I use a tripod that I have here for the cameras and um, I have a, a finder scope, the straight finder scope, a use that you can do, uh, give to your old finder scope. The straight finder scope I have, this one, hold on. Look, you see, I have it already prepared, like this. When you upgrade to uh, a RASI finder, which is much better than this, much comfortable, um, you take this off the telescope and you have nothing to do. I place it on the tripod, a simple tripod, and I use like that, seated like this and like that. And the tripod, I can move it. And watch, I do, I prefer to do this by the comfort rather than use the binoculars for you to see. Let's check this if it's over or not, the, the platform. No, it's still, well, a red one. Let me see if, when it's over, it gets, when the platform reach the end, it start getting red. I think it is, hold on. 
Let me readjust this to see if I can take a a good picture. Yeah, you can do like this also. See what gets better. No, it's green again. Probably the, the position, because the telescope is pointing in vertical. I, uh, yes, me too, me too. And naked eye, and so. If you think, that doesn't matter, because the what it matters what the time that you enjoyed with those binoculars with that tool it was the tool you had you could have uh, no tool at all also a guy comes to you and say i'm i have a telescope for uh, i bought it 30 years ago so i have 30 years of experience in astronomy and you start talking with a guy and then you realize, or knowing the guy, and then you realize that the guy rarely grabbed the telescope and the telescope is there at the corner of the, the, the garage. For instance, me, with my telescopes, any of them, in a, in a whole year that is 365 days or nights, all the night, not all, but because sometimes I, I'm not here, but almost all the nights that are decent, I, I grab a telescope, a place outside, or at least binoculars, or at least I go with my own eyes and enjoy the sky. So, I assure you that I have much more experience watching the sky than many people that say that has years and years and years, decades, decades of, of uh, experience. And me and you, I'm talking about you also, that watch the sky with this passion and we are in the... Um, we are not stuck in the past, we use the new technology as we can to watch, to connect with the sky, while many people still stuck in the past and use the telescope as they used in the past in an old-fashioned way, without moving forward. And they are losing a lot of beauty of enjoying the sky in different ways. You see? Something to for you to think of. My, tri my binoculars are tripod montable. They fix the... <laughs> is a neck pain of course i searched for a <clears throat> an adapter yeah it's over the platform hold on Yeah, it was me. Because uh, it's it's due, and I will. You'll see. My 8 inch. See? 
because it's due here and uh, as it's it's a small telescope it's not a problem and getting it right now inside instead of after the stream the um, the mirrors it is the the fan is still working and while i'm here at the end it will be fine and this kind of dew here near the ocean is a bit harmful to to the the mirrors the coat the coating to the of the mirrors and i will bring the picture now hold on so it was and i don't remember you see the problem 3718 Galaxy 8 Nexus I'm sorry, conjunction Jupiter Venus conjunction. I'm placing the names in the folder so it be identifiable. Okay, let's see the picture. this is the dew look it was forming already Samir pay attention because I think you have problems with you I don't know if you can see these bands here you see can you see this the bands here like or uh, diagonal this is dew already forming can see the the secondary already forming the secondary a bit of dew now what I will do here to this picture this Rename this one as crop. Now I pull it, see if we can take off the noise. And I open top as the noise. Look how beautiful this Hubble image of the Helix Nebula. This is from Hubble. I think yes, it's from Hubble. The one from James Webb, it's another nebula. Let's see where is the cropped one. Crop. I think this one was seemed to me the, the best one. Now I move this to the galaxy. Okay, remove noise, the string I will lower to the minimum, 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 and the detail, always do like this now, and uh, no sharp, no. No, no sharpen, only, only clean the noise at the lower that we can this is the way to go and I'll save it this is my astrophotography if, if you think 
one thing that I think the astronomers have, you and me, when I mean astronomers, people that love astronomy and watch the sky, I think that all of us have a quality, a, a huge quality, which is we have the ability to watch the things, not only in this matter, we have the ability, all of you, the ability to watch the things in perspective. Because we know that we are watching this 35 million light years away, and that is the past. Okay. And we have a better notion of the time and the space and the magnitude of the universe than an, a regular street people, to call it anyway, some way. And that ability to put us on perspective, it's wonderful. Now, I have to touch this a bit. And what I mean by, t what I want to tell you with this is, that ability using, if you think, we think a lot in dinosaurs and uh, the human Homo sapiens and uh, because the comet was with the Homo sapiens and what we were in the past and the time that passed and uh, what we will be in the future, okay? To put you on context. So we have uh, a notion of the, how small we are. It's not that mo many people don't have this, that notion. It's that they don't remember that all, uh, most of the time. They forget it. But we have that in our minds permanently. That means that if we watched astrophotography at the same way with that ability, with that thing that we have, in perspective, and we watch back in time, we can see the evolution of astrophotography. And if we see also the technology in general, we can see that artificial intelligence is on its path, unstoppable path. So, as I'm using, I used, I just used artificial intelligence to clean the noise of this image, and astrophotographers that usually claim that they don't use uh, stuff and so on, they are using already with other tools, artificial intelligence. And the ones that don't, they will in the future. And if you look on perspective of the evolution of the astrophotography, you can easily tend to think also that if you are using now artificial intelligence to clean pictures in some way or to do other stuff in some way, okay, preserving the, the details, the original details, but you are using a new tool, artificial intelligence, to apply to your pictures, okay, in a short period of time because Previously, we didn't use those kind of tools. And with your ability that you have to watch things on perspective, it's very easy for you, if you think on that, it's very easy for you to realize that in a short period of time, in the near future, not so long, in the near future, you will have tools that you will use over your captured images, because that is unique, you capturing your images with your telescope, you will have better tools because you watch the evolution and you can realize what you will have in the future that doesn't exist right now. 
But as you have that ability to watch things in perspective, you can easily think that in the future there will be an artificial intelligence tool for us to use also in astrophotography that will keep the things much simpler. And you touch a button with certain characteristics that you demand from the artificial intelligence, which one is essential is to keep the, the original shapes and details, but to improve them. And the artificial intelligence of the future, not the one that we are using now, of the future, will do that job easily. So all that stuff the astrophotographers are learning and are using now, right now, to improve their images, will soon be outdated. I know this hurts, but it will be like that. Well, it hurts. It hurts to some people. Or may hurt. But you have that ability. Golf Truth Equatorial Platform or Camera Rotator for the 18 inch Dobsonian. That's an easy answer. Equatorial Platform. How will you use your, the power of your 18 inch Dobsonian visually, for instance? without having an equatorial platform. And besides, the rotator, the rotator will allow you to compensate the rotation. But you always need the tracking of the sky. Not only the rotator, you need to track the sky. The rotator helps to... Let me see if I can show you in the original image. I think I... I don't see it here. The rotation will cut while we live stack. We'll cut the corners. It start cutting where to where it rotates the sky. And we usually crop it because of that in alti altazimut mount like this uh, mount that I have behind me, for instance, or the Dobson. So you always need the tracking and the software, the sharp cap, in a way compensate that rotation. The thing that he can't do, because it's always stacking, this galaxy here was not always here, was here. Hold on. Oh, I lost my... Okay, it's here. See if like this I can explain that. Mm. For instance, this star here. This star was here as it is at north. Then it was here, then it was here, then it was here, then it was here, then it was here. It was going up. And the telescope was trying to follow the path, the same path. Okay. But. But. I did here. But while you are live stacking, it go, it's going up, 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 and then it will be out of frame, the star. So what, what live stack, what uh, sharp cap does is when the star is here, it grab the image and stack it over the original one. Then the other one and stack it, pulls it down and stack it over this one. So the stars will fit will match the position of the stars. While he does that, the stars that go out of the screen will not be here. That's why sometimes the corners, with the live stacking, the corners, you start having some stars 
fainter because they are not all they are there but they are not in reality already there they are gone and soft the software compensate that rotation it's turning the image but it does the opposite and match the the image here the stars all the stars using the stars the software uses the stars that's why he needs to align with stars and one over each other will give us will give us detail this detail otherwise we couldn't the rotator will help the software it's good to have a rotator although they are a bit expensive <laughs> sometimes I do the same I don't take pictures but I just watch the moon and that's it with an eyepiece and a filter probably that Curtis <laughs> uh. Oh, that's a tip. You can take a mirror, large one, place it on the ground and look down into it with the binoculars. It gives a break to your neck. Try it sometime, I will. It's because I'm so tall, you know. Yes, not bad. I will tweak it now. But I want to... I saw here... <laughs> You can talk refractors. Oh, you are so wrong, some of you. You are so wrong about me. About the excitement and passion that I have with the Dobsonians. Don't take anything to the power of the refractors. Although they don't have this kind of power that we are doing today, tonight. But they have other kind of power, which is to have beautiful pictures of wide fields of you. They are small and uh, they are easy to mount in any mount. But I prefer the Dobsonian, by the reasons you know, some of you. Of course, of course. Often people think because I'm so uh, effusive and excited and obsessed with the Dobsonian. The Dobsonian is good, the Dobsonian is good, the Dobsonian is the best, the Dobsonian is the best. That doesn't mean that I don't like refractors. And you may understand very soon that. I like this one. Actual astronomy. Telescopes are time machines. No doubt about that. Let me, meanwhile... So the basic... This is the Photoshop Express. It's a, a cheap... A cheap. It's a, a free software. I just want to see if I can get rid of the exposure here. Okay. To improve a bit. I usually don't need to use this tool, but tonight with the moon was so heavy that I think it will be good. Without losing detail, I will try this one. Oh, I need a new monitor. The, the whole television, I have to look to the laptop because the old television tricks me. No color we don't need. I'll leave it like this. Let's see. Let's 
So this was with a 12 inch, with a 8 inch, and it's Sengi C3718, I think. Galaxy. I'll touch here something. Let's see. How it was the image. Well. For a a moonlight night it's not it's not bad but actually the last one i took last year i think it was with the arms so we will come back to this with a 12 inch we will come back we will come back I saw, yeah, I saw a guy that did like that. Yeah, they I probably was in the Sky and, Teleco Sky and Telescope. I remember to see that. There is a fellow that applied artificial intelligence using NVIDIA Jetson single board computers to EAA. I'll put the link on Discord. Yeah, place the link there. I think I saw that a while ago. I think I saw that a while ago. But I can't remember what I thought at the moment. For some reason... For some reason, I was not interested in. I don't remember. I think I try. I have Nvidia. I searched that software. I think. Oh, I don't remember. Place the link, and maybe I can remember what happened. Oh, I didn't like very much what I. S I don't remember. I remember that I saw that. I remember to search for that uh, NVIDIA Jetson. It's, I think it was, it's an extension or something that we use with NVIDIA, something like that. And at that time I had uh, all the stuff of NVIDIA installed. And I said, oh, well, I will give it a try. But I don't remember what happened next. My plan is to get a Dobsonian soon. The binoculars are great because of their portability, of course. The telescope is a telescope and a Dobsonian is a Dobsonian. No matter what people say, they can't change that. Dobsonian, Dobsonian power. power. You see, I was placing and now I, I'm reading. But that's it, I want the full Dobsonian power, that's it. <laughs> That's it. You are you are on the right track. Okay, let's see the community pictures, okay? Just track here. Of course, it's like that, Rita. Oh, this will change so much. I still have hope that... Um, 
I'm still alive when you can meet with me virtually and watch the sky virtually together in a virtual space to watch the sky and do some live stream like that or whatever they call to that at the moment Seventy euros it was not the price that I saw of the rotators. I saw something like uh, more than 500 euros. But if you say so... I think the, the, the tracking is essential, In, we, especially with the 18 inch. 18 inch dog without tracking, it's or with tracking it's a game changer if I had to choose I will prefer by far the equatorial platform and if possible a, a strong one like the tap oh but the 12 inch the large refractor it will be different. Well, for wide field, it's up to you, Madzif, what you, what your goals are. These kind of objects we are watching tonight, the 12 inch Dobsonian over this, ooh, wow. Wow, you can't have with a refractor uh, an image that you will get with a 12 inch. Now, if you're talking about the California Nebula, the Rosette Nebula, the Veil Nebula. Okay. If, if you have already the refractor, buy both later. Of course, that's what I am always saying. Or other thing that uh, people misunderstand. I always saying, always, always saying. It doesn't matter that I don't like to post process to spend time on that. It matters that you like that, and some people like. Some people like to. We don't like everything the same. Some people like visual. Some people doesn't like visual at all. Some people like to capture the images, whether it's EAA or it's astrophotography, to use a camera. And there's people out there that, my God, that is a, a scene to grab a camera. How, how dare you to grab a camera? How dare you? That's nothing to do with a, a camera with a, the eye with, in the eyepiece. And there's people like that. But they should understand that I like also to do this and I like what they do, visual, I love visual. But I understand the people from astrophotography and the astrophotographers should understand what I do here and what uh, the visual guy loves. But mo most people don't... Uh, I don't know if it's most people, but often people, I see often people uh, misunderstanding the others. I did astrophotography and I know a bit of that feeling. I know a bit of that feeling to... For instance, when I do planetary imaging, I don't do li uh, live stacking with planets. And I get that feeling of having, especially when I know that could be a, a, good, a good night. And then I'm waiting while the, while the software is processing. I'm always watching. Well, it's not yet. Uh, to grab that final image and have that dopamine boost <laughs> that satisfaction of course delayed but satisfaction so I understand very very well astrophotographers 
Although some of them think they, that I don't. Topazi noise, the people uh, crank up the the topazi noise and it it gets distorted. It gets distorted. You should use. Uh, I have in my link in my website. Look what I have there. Look what I have there, in the link to topazi noise, and you will understand. Topazi noise, I place here. The best software for a quick astrophotography. True. For a quick astrophotography. And he, here I place. Just need to push a button. And then I in the, the button it says Topazi noise AI software to use with caution. To use with caution. But that happens with uh, all other softwares if you don't use with caution. You mess it all. Although so, uh, the Topazi noise, it's uh, an easy tool to mess it all. Because it's, it's only to crank up a bit and you mess it all. So that's why I always say crank up, crank down to the minimum. If possible. All of those. <laughs> I dream with uh, 25, 24, it's more accessible. I probably will have one in the future, I don't know. Maybe a 24. It will fit very well here. But uh, there's things, priorities. So, and I enjoy if I don't have na nothing. But I enjoy, I have loads of telescopes already. Of course, 13 inch even better. Can we plan uh, full width of maximum? I think it's what you're talking about. With sequencer in sharp cap? Uh, good question. Let me see if uh, I don't touch the sequencer a lot. Because I have already that, I think, I don't know. But uh, you don't want to do that, because it changes. It depends on the night. It depends. It's always better to test first. Let's see the pictures. Your pictures. Community pictures. Let's see our pictures. It's Saturday. Just close this one. Oh. Like this. Community pictures, you can participate on Discord, post here the pictures. This one was the last one, I have here the sign of YouTube. I, I don't give likes because to control. So Ray from, from Arizona with a 9.25 Edge HD. And the ZWO 2600 Pro Camera. A galaxy. Is this the, the Cocoon Galaxy? I don't remember. It's a galaxy, no? Ah, this one I remember is the Casper. No? The Casper. It's very beautiful, this nebula. Good detail here. Very nice. Antenna Galaxy. An M78. Yeah, it's antenna, but the antennas were not visible. We have to capture that one. Also, the moon. With the same setup. 
Then we have Mazif, 10 inch Neltonian. You see, Mazif, the 10 inch it's much easier to handle also and to have more stability in the. Um, it's because I don't know very well your mount. Search on uh, on Google, Mazif. Right. Newtonian, uh, 12 inch Newtonian over uh, equatorial mount or uh, in a pierre. There's many people that use a pierre, made a pierre for it. And try to see their impressions because the aperture we, will benefit you for sure. That's uh, physics. Beautiful one here. Antonio Cortez, Messier 106 in Canes Venatici with a 12 inch Dobsonian tracking platform, Optalong, infrared cut filter, and Bortal 7. This is a beautiful galaxy. A beautiful galaxy. We captured it in other live stream. Mazif, this is the Bolt's galaxy. With a bit of light pollution because it's here, but with very nice detail. A heart to ray again. Ah, this is beautiful. Uh, in mono, but it's beautiful. It's the Taurus helmet. Good detail here. Very nice ray. Although I, I prefer it on color, it's with load. Well, on mono, probably you get more details. Messier 3, the cluster. From Astro Tib with a ZWO 533. 130 PDS, new camera, so testing out stuff a bit. And I can tell you that it's good. Good test. It's a, a good object to test the camera also. Perfect. Stars. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We will capture it also. Elios. Only phone was ava available. Ah, it's, it was the conjunction here. <laughs> Very nice. Pipoca. This morning, it's a, with a halo. Yesterday the moon was with a huge halo. I like a lot, but uh, my neck start to getting uh, hurt. Beautiful. The sky is beautiful even during the day. And even the clouds are beautiful. We don't like them because mess with our work. The triplet. Leo Triplet, Astro Tib. Good to the galaxies also. Good camera. 533. The only difference or the main difference is the, the frame because the 294 has a different is is a rectangle and it's a larger frame. A bit larger. But it's a similar and I don't have amp glow, I use darks. Astro Tib, 8 inch knob. Venus, very nice this one of Venus. Very nice. I forgot to... Well, I didn't forgot. I didn't want... I wanted to capture the conjunction only. But I didn't uh, capture Venus this year yet. Probably I will not. A heart. And this one from Cookie26. Interesting photos. Not so good quality. This is a airplane with a phone. <laughs> it's the conjunction with an airplane. 
the conjunction was very nice. And here's another one. AA, oh, your username, 18812. Test my new dedicated Astro camera. I still have issues with polar alignment, but was happy to get this. Skyliner, 10 inch Dobsonian with a ZWO294. Ah, my preferred. 32 minutes of life stacking. You see, the frame is larger. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's, uh, it may, may have uh, some light here at the left. Or something and it's a bit out of focus you see the spikes here when you see double spikes it was out of focus and this you see this this was due to the out of focus because when it's focused this star the four spikes will be unique single ones and this will not appear this eye fish here you see? Because look, at the left, you don't have... Well, you have a, 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 the other... Yes, it's all to the same side. It's all to the same side. This is not coma. They are pointing all to the same side. So it was a bit of all here. Not only the focuser. Not only the lack of focusing I'm just telling this to help you identify as it's a new camera and it's very powerful I don't know what to capture it let's pro yay well you uh, I know what you capture this is a, a likely a star but without tracking it will get like this you see like a, a line when you grab your smartphone see and grab it and touch the eyepiece and and take a photo through your telescope without tracking this is still moving the sky is moving and your telescope is not moving so usually and if you shake a bit so it's likely that it's not an UFO I didn't add it okay anyway thank you for sharing that and give you a like. This was the sun. Adam Burchik catches some sunshine with a Skywatcher 90 and 900 focal length, Bader ND5, and the 294 MC camera, which I love. Nice some spots here. I have to do a live stream with the sun with you see how it goes. Mazif through the clouds, you see Mazif, perseverance. Even with clouds, they look like nebulae. <laughs> the clouds around the planets, look at uh, the glow that the clouds do to the planets. The conjunction, of course, but you can see the, the moons here of Jupiter. The Galilean moons, very nice. Astrotiv, uh, another great galaxy, Sunflower, with a 533. It's a beautiful galaxy. When you, when we can get uh, much detail and magnify it, it's so gorgeous. Sunflower, we have to repeat that because it was a, a bad night. Brian Fowler, this one was last July with a Z12 and a 294. You see, when you can get, but this is difficult to get. You see the detail? When you can get all and magnify it. It's a very nice galaxy. We are entering al almost at the galaxy season. From 9 to 5, 
Orsed Nebula, Cigar Galaxy, Orion Nebula, 10-inch GSO Equatorial Platform, and the ZWO 294. Love it. Still having trouble with settings in SharpCap. Don't worry, we are here to help you. Keep watching my, my live streams and I touch everything. Almost, because I use the sequencer. Beautiful, beautiful. Love the, the natural color of this. I love this name. Oh, a hot pixel. When you learn how to use darks, you will. This will not appear in your picture. This this was a hot pixel that was like this, running away. And this below, it's the same here. You see, a green hot pixel, and it was pa 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 with the tracking. It says here pa 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 pa, and the the software ignore it. But well, you have a solution uh, if you want to use. They have um, at the right. They have um, hot pixels, clean hot pixels or something like that. While you don't learn how to do darks, but you have a video about that in my, in my channel. It's easy. Marco couldn't decide where to live stack, so I use both AZ Air and Sharp Cap while watching the live stream, of course. <laughs> It's a, a matter of um, comfort. If you if you prefer, you like easy air, you stick with it. If you prefer sharp cap, I prefer sharp cap. It has more functions, and uh, Robin uh, is always improving and listen to our our demands and our uh, questions. Whirlpool Galaxy <laughs> You captured my my live stream also here funny It was now <laughs> I can't give a like I don't know why Ray another ah, I love this one the black eye galaxy with uh, the 9.25 Mono camera, mono camera with filters. I love this one. What's the name? It's the um, Black Eye Galaxy. Yes, we will watch it in the Galaxy season. Now. It's beautiful. This detail at the core. This looks like an eye. A human eye. Very nice ray. And Marco. Mm. With a red cat. With a refractor. With a red cat 51. AZ GTI. The mount. In equatorial mode. AZ Air Mini. I mainly do EAA. But I... Am saving individual frames and later stack them. That's it. I'm always telling you that. You can do astrophotography in the way that I do EAA. To learn astrophotography post-processing. And many people, and they take very nice pictures, astrophotography, do astrophotography, using live stacking. And it's a bonus because you will benefit from the pleasure, the instant gratification that you have from the view, viewing the object, watching the object in real time. That instant gratification and you know that those frames will get it uh, even better picture than post-processing. So Rita, you see Rita. You can have that pleasure and this pleasure both at the same time. Which is awesome. I know people that does... Uh, this is beautiful, look. The Orion Nebula. Very nice, this one also. I like the, the details. The running man here. 
the top. Very nice. And um, M51 Whirlpool. Good details. When this arm here of the the second galaxy here started start to pop, it's beautiful. This see this this is a beauty one of the most beautiful galaxies. Because they are interacting and it's so clear that they are interacting. The old nebula and the cigar galaxy here below. Bagel Chef, best photo of the Orion Nebula I took with the Power Seeker 127 EQ with iPhone. This is just your beginning. Soon you will be using other telescope and other kind of camera, I assure you. But thank you for for sharing with us. You see, you can participate in this on Discord, any one of you. And thank you very much for being here this Saturday night. It was excellent to be with you again. I will be with you next time. The sky is clear, of course. Thank you very much and see you next time. Have a great Sunday.